Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again. We have made some videos relating to paraphrasing and overview of writing task 1. In those videos, we learned how to write paraphrasing, how to change the sentences in paraphrasing, how to change different words. Apart from that, we also learned how to write an overview, how to look for trends, how many sentences we need to make. And I think you know uh, much about paraphrasing and writing an overview if you have seen my videos. In this video, we are going to take an example of full bar chart and we will not only the, learn about paraphrasing and overview, we will also learn how to write body paragraphs, which are body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2. So I have taken an example of complete bar chart. I am going to do paraphrasing of that bar chart. I will write an overview for you and along with paraphrasing and overview, I will also write body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 and we will learn everything. We will learn how to change different words, how to write different sentences to boost the score and how to organize the data and what to compare in the given information. So let's move to the chart. Here is the given statement. As you know, when we are given the question sheet, we have the chart and on the top of the chart, we have the statement like we have here. So if you see the statement says, the chart below gives information, means the chart is giving some information and data or statistics about the number of social networking sites people used in Canada in 2014 and 2015. So it is the statement which says, actually it gives the data on the percentage of people who were using different types of social networking websites in Canada in two different years. Below the given statement, we have the guidelines from the examiner. The sentence says, summarize the information means giving the summary uh, which we give in 150 words. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features. In the data, we need to look for the main features. So what are the main features? Main features are the things that are mostly noticeable. If something is increasing and the other is decreasing, so that comparison that we have is most noticeable feature. So we have to report that in the writing task one. Apart from this, if we have something maximum and something minimum or somewhere if data is equal or same, so we have to report those type of things. So these are the main features and if we are given three or four countries, all the three or four countries are our main keywords and we can't miss them and we have to talk about all the years that we are given. So these are the keywords and main features of the data which we need to report by selecting. Then it says and make comparisons where relevant and in the given data we need to compare the given information with each other. So here is the statement even I have written that same statement over here so that we can learn how to change different words. Okay so statement is same the chart below gives information about the number of social networking sites people used in Canada in 2014 and 2015. So here is the statement. Now I am going to change this statement bit by bit, piece by piece so that we can learn how to add some words and how to change the words and which words are necessary to change. So first, let's see here. The chart below gives information. The chart below means they have given the chart behind this statement. So they have written the chart below gives information. We will look what type of chart we have given whether it's line or it's bar chart. Here in our example I am going to talk about bar chart. So while paraphrasing I will write the given bar chart. And one thing that I want you to know is that they have used the word below. 
we are not going to use that word while we are paraphrasing it on the answer sheet because they have given us a chart below but we are not going to give any chart we are going to give the description of the data so we are not going to give any type of chart or any type of representation we are just going to write so we are not going to write below because we are not going going to uh, give the examiner the bar chart below the statement we are not going to do that so skip that word okay so the first part is the chart below we have changed it the given bar chart then gives the information means it is providing some data it is providing some statistics we can use provides the data compares the statistics it provides the information it illustrates the information but i think the better word to use is compares simply i am going to write that instead of this the given bar chart compares in this chart we have given a bar chart in which it compares the percentage of people of canada who are using various number of sites in two different years so it's com comparing the percentage of people using different sites so i am going to write compares the percentage of here they have used people of canada instead of writing people of canada we can simply write canadians okay so i am going to write that compares the percentage of canadians who used we can change the word used also we can use the word accessed accessed means using something and it is basically used when we have topics like internet and social media so i am going to write canadians who used instead of using used i will used who accessed accessed different social networking websites accessed number of networking websites in 2014 and 2015 now we are going to change that in means in the particular year in this and this means in two years so instead of using in we could simply write during 2014 and 2015 here are paraphrasing which is the first step is complete look at the statement that we have rephrased the given bar chart compares the percentage of canadians who accessed number of networking websites during 2014 and 2015 so here the sense of the given statement is same but we have rewritten it using different words and different vocabulary so this is the way to paraphrase the given statement now we have done one paragraph that is paraphrasing and if you know well after doing paraphrasing the next thing that we do is writing an overview so we will look at the bar chart here and we will write it we have done writing the paraphrasing as you know the next step that we are going to take is writing an overview so you know well in writing an overview we need to look for the general trends and we have to give two sentences showing the different trends and changes in the bar chart so i am going to write those two sentences uh, by taking the example of this bar chart here is the bar chart so let me introduce to you this bar chart this bar chart is same for the statement that we wrote on the board so first you will see a short statement over here so i will read it for you don't worry it says percentage of people using multiple social networking sites 
bar chart shows the percentage of people here is the percentage that is the percentage of people the people were of canada okay percentage of canadians using multiple social networking sites if you see at the vertical axis we have the percentage that is 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 having the difference of 5 percent okay so on the vertical axis as we have seen here is the percentage it is also given here on the top of the bars to make you more clear on the horizontal axis we have the number of sites that people used if you see these two bars are for the people using no sites at all the people who weren't using any type of social networking sites and next we have the percentage of people who were using one site one networking site in canada then third category is, category is of the people who were using two sites in canada then we have fourth category which shows the percentage of canadian people who were using three sites then we have the category of people using four sites and then five sites so before writing an overview we must know what is given in the bar chart so that we could give the information more clearly to the examiner so that the examiner could understand what the data is okay so here we have two blocks one is for 2014 and another is for 2015 it shows the years and these two blocks have two different colors one is green one is blue so here if you see here is the green bar here is the blue which means this is for 2014 and this is for 2015 so it is our full bar chart now we are going to look at the trends that are important to be written in an overview so let's do it together look at the chart what you see i think most of the people most of you may have noticed this so it's most noticeable and easy to see in the chart okay other thing that you may have noticed would be this the small one the small bars so we have taken two points for an overview we are going to write it first okay uh, let's not finish it over here we have taken uh, the comparison of one site and five sites users we have some other information also 2014 and 2015 so we also have to look for the changes over the period means if something increased or decreased let's have a look at chart you can notice that here the percentage went down from 22 percent to 21 percent here it went to 28 percent from 36 percent so here it also decreased here it rose from 23 percent to 24 percent same goes for this 12% to 16% then it went from 5% to 8% then 2% to 4% so we have two different trends to compare there are two decreasing trends and we have four increasing trends so this is the complete material of our overview we are going to write the sentences on this material that we have found in the bar chart these are some changes and noticeable things that we are going to write in bar chart so i will write it on the board and you will see how to change or transform the information in the sentences so i have written an overview using this bar chart and we will understand it deeply and clearly so the first thing that we found in this bar chart was the percentage of one site users so we found that the percentage of one site users was maximum so the first sentence that i have made is related to the one site users so let's see at the board 
you remember that when we write an overview we must start it by using the word overall to make the examiner understand that we are writing an overview we are not writing bp1 and bp2 so i have used that word overall then we can use a phrase like this it is clear that overall it is clear that means it is obvious to see it is evident that you can also use it is evident that it is clear that it can be clearly seen that but i i think that you should write something that is very simple to understand so i have written it is clear that so the first sentence was the percentage of one site users so i have written the proportion proportion is a great word to use at the place of percentage the meaning is same the proportion of people using one site was far higher than those who used multiple networking sites what it says it says the proportion means the percentage of people using one site means the people who were using one site the proportion of those people was far higher far higher means more than extremely more than those who used multiple networking sites multiple networking sites means those who were using numerous websites means this this bar is for the people who were using two sites so they are multiple sites users then there uh, we have three sites users so these are the people who use multiple sites so two three four or five site users were multiple site users and we have no site and one site users at apart okay so the proportion of people using one site was far, far higher than those who used multiple networking sites this was our one sentence so the next thing that we found was uh, the changes decreasing and the increasing changes so i have also written that with using the word noticeably noticeably means something that is important to be noticed so i have used that word to attract the attention of the examiner that i have found something very interesting so noticeably while while is a great conjunction to use when we need to make any complex sentence so i have used that while the percentage of no site and one site users decreased the percentage of no site users and one site users decreased while the percentage of no site users and one site users decreased then we need to use comma when we use why in front of the sentence there was an increase in the proportion of multiple site users after a year so there was an increase in the percentage of people using multiple sites after one year means from 2014 to 2015 we have a gap of one year so after one year there was a change in the percentage and the percentage increased for these people and it decreased for the people using no sites and one site so here we have the complete overview so in this way we have covered everything we have even talked about the different years and changes according to the years and we have also compared the people using different sites so here is the complete overview i if i am not mistaken i can say that this is the complete overview we are not going to mention any date in this as you can see i have not written 2014 or 15 and even i have not given any particular percentage of any user so this is our complete overview and we have two sentences one is for maximum and minimum higher and lower and other is for increase and decrease so we have completed the overview now we will move towards writing body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 in which we will mention each and everything of the data means if we are talking about no site users we will talk about these two bars by giving the percentage of both the bars if we are saying that it's maximum 
we will tell that how maximum it is so we are going to do everything in body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 so let's move on to body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 and let's look how to compare these bars it seems a little tricky but it's uh, not that much complex it is not complicating i am with you i will help you to organize the data and to divide the data according to the different changes and trends now i have started writing body paragraph 1 and in body paragraph 1 and 2 we must be knowing what information we are going to put in body paragraph 1 and what we are going to write in body paragraph 2 so before doing and attempting these two paragraphs it is important for you to know how to divide the information so for me the best way is to move according to the overview drive your whole essay according to the overview as i have written the same thing over here if you look at the bar chart we noticed this and we noticed this so firstly as i have written in the overview that the percentage of one site users was far more higher than the others so i am going to write this first because I am going to drive the essay according to the overview which is the best method to bring the cohesion within the task. So I am going to write this and in this sentences I am going to compare these two bars with the one who are maximum. So let us have a look at the chart and the statement that I have given here. In 2014, and remember the most important thing, always write from the starting year. Don't write from 2015. It's completely illogical. Start from here as I have started. In 2014, there was maximum percentage of Canadians using one networking site accounted for 36%. So percentage of the people in Canada using one site was maximum. So I have written that first. See, maximum percentage. I have highlighted the key feature. It was the key feature, which is why we gave it in the overview. I have highlighted it over here also, maximum. So the percentage of people using one networking site was maximum. It accounted for 36%. Means the percentage accounted for 36%. There were 36% people using one site. In contrast, we use the word contrast to compare something very important. So I have used this word because I am going to compare this with this. This is a great comparison of maximum and minimum information. So I have written in contrast, here comma, only 2% people used five websites there were only two percent people who were using five networking sites here we have seen that there was 36 percent people using one site here two percent people so there's a great difference so it is really important to be compared so i have used the word only it shows that were there were very few people using one this uh, five websites. So let us move forward. Then I have written the percentage of single website users. As you know, when we have started talking about two things and we are comparing it, it is important to state every year on that time only. After, when you write it separately, when you write the year separately in another VP, it doesn't make sense. We need to complete everything that we have started. I have started with one site user and five sites users. I am going to complete it by even writing about 2015. So let's look. Firstly, I have written about 2014. Now I am going to describe the changes that occurred over the period in these two categories. So look here, the percentage of single website users decreased considerably. So the percentage of single means one site users 
decreased i have written decreased considerably means in a large amount in an important amount that is important to be considered decreased considerably to 28% it decreased to 28% whereas it is again a great word to compare whereas the proportion of five website users witnessed a slight increase of 2% in 2015 i have again compared this with this so i have completed two categories i have said that the percentage of people using one site decreased however or whereas the percentage of people using five sites increased by 2% it was 2 in 2014 and increased to 4% in 2015 it increased by 2% which i have written over here so it was a very little change so to describe that little change i have used the adjective slight slight means minimal very small so we have completed two categories this one and this one now you may have an idea that we need to organize the information and divide according to our overview as i have done we will write the rest of the categories also and look how i do them so you have seen me writing the two categories one was of one site users and one was of five sites users so we compared those because those two followed opposite trends and were having a great difference now the next sentences that i will make will be on three sites and four sites so why i have taken these two categories the most important thing is these two categories followed similar increasing trend both the categories increased the percentage of people using three sites and four sites increased over the period so there is a similarity between these two categories so it's also the comparison it's not important that you only compare the opposite trends it's also important that you are comparing something that is similar it's also you are comparing the things whether they are similar or different so let's see at the board how i have described these two categories one was of three sites and one was of four sites see the sentences there were 12% three site users 12% three site users 12% three site users then and 5% four site users and 5% four site users okay in 2014 in our starting year so after a years after a year sorry the percentage of both of these categories people followed similar increasing trend so i have mentioned the main point about these categories that these two categories followed or experienced the same increasing trend as i have written over here the percentage of both of these categories people followed similar increasing trend so i have written that they followed similar increasing trend now i am going to describe it by giving the data okay in 2015 the percentage of three and four site using canadians rose means it increased to 16% and 8% respectively so this sentence is also very great to use this word is really fascinating so why it's fascinating so what is the meaning of using respectively when you have grouped two or more than two things together and you are going to give the data of those two or three things separately so we use respectively let's take a look at there uh, i have written three and four separately i have written two categories separately and the percentage of these categories separately so to make sure the examiner that 16% is for three site users and 8% is for four site users i have written respectively 
it is the data is moving in respect so the first percentage is for the first category second percentage is for the second category respectively means these two things are in the respect of the above given things so they are moving they are in an order so they are moving orderly so i have written respectively so now also we have completed two more categories let's put cross on these sorry this is pending we have completed these categories now no site users and two site users are pending that's also going to be a great comparison because here the percentage decreased from 22% to 21% here it increased from 23% to 24% and interestingly the difference is only of 1% in both the categories as you can see so we are going to mention these two categories now and we will end the video after writing this so let's write this let's see rest of the two categories now let's see rest of the two categories the no site users and two site users i have taken these two because they are following varying trends so let's take not a lot of time see over the board interestingly the proportion of people accessing no site at all and those using two sites was quite similar so the proportion was quite similar as we can see here it was 22 and here it was 23 it was 21 and it was 24 quite similar 22% canadians were those who did not use any website 22% canadians didn't use any site okay and 23% people used two sites in 2014 there were 23% people who were using two sites in 2014 so the percentage of both categories people experienced an increase of similar proportion it increased by similar proportion like from 23 to 24 there is a difference of 1% here from 22 to 21 there is a difference of 1% so the difference is same after a year means in 2015 so here the bar chart is complete i hope you enjoyed the video so if you like the video please press the like button and i will not get disappointed if you dislike it if you have any inquiries you can message me directly in the comment section and if you want more videos you can follow me on instagram and message me there directly my instagram account is i sukhdeep official you can follow me there also thank you for watching the video